Battle of the Vitals, Archer, Joby, Ehang, Lilium, and more compared. Hello, hustlers. So I found a recent video comparing the different types of eVTOL vehicles that I think could give quite a good insight to bridge the knowledge gap between some of us Archer and Joby aviation investors that I'd like to share with you. But first, we're at around 170 Archer and Joby subscribers in our community. That's right, we're pushing on to 200 and on course to be the largest Archer and Joby community here on YouTube. So don't be lazy, hit that subscribe as we want to grow the biggest, most engaged eVTOL community here on YouTube to be the source of truth. So here we go. So in the US, we have Joby Aviation, whose tilt rotor prototype promises a range of 240 kilometers and top speed of 400 kilometers. Next, we have Archer Aviation, which recently unveiled its tilt motor maker aircraft that can travel up to 100 kilometers at a 240 km per hour speed. Volocopter, which is based in Germany. Now I do want to throw in here, Joby does have a quite rare aircraft in Archer, but it's something I think that will be adapted f closer to the time. Joby are ahead of Archer when it comes to certification process, but don't let that put you off Archer if they have significant more substantial cash runway. Introduces the fixed Rotor Air Taxi Volvo City designed for short hops across urban centers with a range of 55 kilometers. Another German competitor, Lilium Aviation, has dropped. Now, Lilium does seem like a promising company. I do need to do a deep dive further into them before I can give a proper honest opinion on them long term as a business investment, but they do look quite promising so far drawn attention to its seven-seater tilt rotor jet, boasting a unique design that allows a 250 km range at speeds of up to 280 km per hour. Another prominent player, Vertical Aerospace from the UK, is advancing with their tilt rotor VAX4 prototype, capable of reaching speeds up to 320 km per hour, over distances of up to 160 km. And then finally, with the Chinese company Ehang. Now, Ehang, this is the competitor I do fear the most. This Chinese based eVTOL seems to be making very aggressive moves in the market. So, let me know what you think of these. And if you want me to do a further deep dive into them, please let me know. Which builds static rotor air taxis. Their flagship model, the Ehang 260 is a two-passenger drone designed for short to medium haul trips in urban environments. Right guys, that's it. It was interesting to see the different types of competitors out there. I myself am slightly heavier on Archer with 1000 shares while I only have 600 in Joby at the moment. I do want to see more certification progress before I start pumping in heavy capital. But let me know what you think. Also, let me know if you want me to deep dive in on either Lilium or Ehang, as it's something I actually am willing to do if there's enough interest for it. Okay, guys, help me break that 200 subscriber mark, and let's grow the most honest eVTOL community here on YouTube. And oh yeah, our free Discord is listed below, so make sure you join to stay up to date. Alright, hustlers, peace out.